गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर मोनिका खेतरपाल आई एम एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर ऑफ फिजिक्स इन गवर्नमेंट डोंगर कॉलेज बीकानेर आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन माई लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ एम एस सी फाइनल फिजिक्स वी वर डीलिंग विथ फेरो मैग्नेटिज्म स्टूडेंट्स वी नो दैट इन ए मेटेरियल फेरो मैग्नेटिक प्रॉपर्टी अराइजेज वेन टेम्परेचर इज लेस देन अ क्रिटिकल टेम्परेचर विच इज नोन एज क्यूरी टेम्परेचर एंड वी हैव ऑल्सो शोन बाय ग्राफिकल मैथड दैट दिस फेरो मैग्नेटिज्म अराइजेज बिकॉज ऑफ स्पिन मोशन एंड ऑर्बिटल मोशन हैज नो कंट्रीब्यूशन इन इट नाउ इन अवर टू डेज लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस क्वांटम थ्योरी ऑफ paramagnetism that is we will discuss heisenberg exchange interaction heisenberg put forward the quantum theory which explains the weis field theory of paramagnetism in this quantum theory it was assumed that there exists a wave function and this wave function describes the system of electrons which should be antisymmetric so if we have a hamiltonian then an extra energy term will appear this term will depend on the orientation of spin of neighboring particles here i am assuming only two spins i am assuming the atom labeled by indices i and j and let these atoms have spin si and sj and we will assume only the interaction between nearest neighbors and higher order interaction will be ignored assuming this we have the interaction energy between the spins to be of the form u to be equal to minus 2j si dot sj here j is exchange integral and u term is electrostatic in nature and it is exchange interaction between spins here the two situations can arise in the first case <coughs> if i have j to be positive that is my exchange integral is positive now the interaction energy must be negative for a stable condition for u to be negative and we have j positive u can be only negative if the two spin vectors they are parallel so the first condition is the state of lowest energy must have spin vectors parallel now i am taking the second condition in this second condition i am taking the exchange integral to be negative now in this condition for the lowest energy state that means for u to be negative we have j negative and this condition will takes place only when the spin of i and j that means si and sj these spins are anti parallel so if one electron has spin up other must have a spin down so these two are the condition for the interaction energy to be in a stable state we know that the first case in which the spin vectors are parallel students this is the condition of ferromagnetism and second condition in which we have shown that si must be 
if si has a spin up sa must have a spin opposite to it that means it must have spin down this is the condition of anti ferromagnetism in which we have spins to be anti parallel so from here we can conclude that ferromagnetism is the condition in which exchange integral is positive and in anti ferromagnetism case j must be less than 0 so in order to show this we are plotting a graph this is the graph between exchange integral and on x axis we have plotted the ratio of lattice constant a to the diameter d of 3d shell in this graph we have plotted iron group transition metals we can see that if a by d is greater than 1.5 we have exchange integral j to be positive and here we can see that for iron cobalt and nickel a by d is greater than 1.5 hence for these elements j must be positive that means these elements should be ferromagnetic in nature and this is also experimentally proved that these materials are ferromagnetic in nature now for a by d less than 1.5 we have j to be negative that means these materials should not show ferromagnetic behavior for example here i have shown manganese for mn a by d is less than 1.5 hence manganese should not show ferromagnetism which is experimentally true behavior also now we are increasing the lattice constant a of manganese in such a way that its a by d exceeds 1.5 if such situation happen then the behavior of material should change that means if a by d of manganese with the addition of some element becomes greater than 1.5 then it should show ferromagnetic behavior students yes this happens on addition of small amount of nitrogen to manganese it has been found that its lattice constant increases so a by d factor increases and it becomes greater than 1.5 hence there will be a appearance of ferromagnetic behavior by addition of nitrogen in manganese manganese copper aluminum alloy they also show ferromagnetic property other compounds of manganese mnsb mnbi they are also ferromagnetic in nature because for these alloys and compounds a by d factor becomes greater than 1.5 as in these elements the distance between the atoms are greater than in a pure manganese crystal so the important conclusion that we can draw is that the positive sign of exchange integral causes the parallel orientation of spin